This video analyzes important legal news from the Hindu newspaper December 2022. Two topics, the Central Pollution Control Board and the Right to Information Act has been covered. The first article is a report by the Central Pollution Control Board. The report shows an improvement in the water quality of rivers in India. In the context, we have to first understand why the Central Pollution Control Board has been established, what are its main objectives, functions, etc. The board was established in the year 1974 as a statutory body under the Water Prevention and Control of Pollution Act. CPCB is an apex organization in the field of pollution control and it comes under the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. The major functions of CPCB includes Firstly, it coordinates activities of state pollution control boards which were established in different states. A second major function is to promote and maintain the water quality by cleanliness of streams wells and rivers. Similarly, improving the air quality and preventing air pollution is another major function of CPCB. For checking and monitoring air quality, a national air quality monitoring program has been introduced by CPCB in 1984. In this program, various air pollutants such as sulfur dioxide, oxides of nitrogen, SPM or suspended particular matters all are monitored. Apart from this, for improving the environment, various other programs were also initiated by CPCB. The next news article is about the RTA Act or the Right to Information Act. A very recent amendment was made to the RTA Act in 2019 where the terms and conditions of service of the Central Information Commissioner and various other information commissioners were modified at the center and in various states. Let us now examine when the Right to Information Act has been enacted and what are its objectives. The original act has been enacted in the year 2005 where the main objective of the act is to promote transparency and accountability in the working of the public authorities or the governmental authorities. Hence the act contains various rules and procedures relating to the citizens right to information. Under the provisions of this act any citizen may require information from any public authority and the public authority has to make a reply within 30 days. Remember, public authorities here mean the governmental body or an instrumentality of a state. Private persons are excluded from this act. Hence, political parties are not covered under this act. With regard to the governance of right to information in India, there are two major bodies, the Central Information Commission and State Information Commissions. When an information is requested by a citizen from a public authority, it has to be replied within 30 days. And when an information is seek regarding the life and personal liberty of the petitioner, it is to be replied within 48 hours without any delay. It is important to note that the right to information is an implied fundamental right under Article 19 of the Indian Constitution. It comes along with the right to freedom of speech and expression. Hence, it is an implied fundamental right. 